Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today we're going to talk about 10 DIY gift ideas. These are ones that I have shared with you in the past and now I'm just collecting them all together for you at, at the release time of this video. It is almost November, so it's time to start thinking about DIY gifts. So I'm hoping I'm giving you enough time to decide on who you're gonna give what and what you need to find and give you time to actually accomplish some of these goals that you may have at the end of this video. I have a whole Pinterest board called Vintage Gift Ideas if you want some more ideas. And I also have a highlight on my Instagram account. It's called $5 gift ideas and people really love that. I try to give gifts that look like maybe they're $40. Well, between let's say like 25 and $40. Like they have a value of that, but I somehow found a way to only create them for about $5. So that might be fun for you to check out if you like this sort of thing. Now these would be good for hostess gifts. They would be good for girlfriends and neighbors and teachers and people that you don't have to get completely, you know, personalized or has to be this specific thing that they have on their wish list. You don't feel the pressure of that, but it's just a sweet little um, friendship or a thank you type gift. You could do it with coworkers or something. Anyway, I think all of these could be good for the right person. I really try to keep all of these gifts to around $10, depending on what you have on hand, okay? So first off, my first seasonal idea would be apple pie filling, which I feel like fits the fall especially. So you can make about eight quart jars, I believe, in three hours. And it's apple pie filling. It's enough to make an entire apple pie. It's shelf stable because it's canned. And also people will just, I mean, I've had friends that will just like, they love it so much, they'll just eat it out of the jar like applesauce or they'll put it on top of ice cream, but it's a great gift. Whenever I give it, people are super excited about it. You can tie it up with a cute tag and a little greenery or jingle bell or something, and that's a really great gift idea. The second gift idea would be a gather garland that I made a couple years ago and I have a printable so you can print out the exact oak leaf that I used for mine. I think that would be really pretty for a hostess gift for the person who's hosting Thanksgiving maybe this year and then you can store it and use it year after year. Okay the third moving on into winter type gifts would be a hoop wreath. So last year in my Christmas home tour, I made these several hoop hoop wreaths. I think it was my favorite thing that I made last year for the house. And it's really fun if you can find a plastic animal that actually looks like one of the pets that's in that family home. So we have one that looks like our dog. And of course, that's my very favorite of the wreaths I made. Then you just need some bottle brush trees and some faux greenery and a great striped ribbon and it's done. It does not take very much time. And a lot of the stuff you could find at the thrift store or even the Dollar Tree, I would check both of those places. And these are really great. I, I think especially cool for neighbors. If you know like who, who has which pets that would look cute in their hoop wreath. Okay, number four, a pom-pom garland. I actually made one of these. I gave it to my mother-in-law last Christmas, but you can make your own pom-poms. I have it linked in the tutorial, my, my very favorite yarn. It's this perfect, yummy, creamy color, and it's so soft like cashmere. And they're just fun for Christmas just to, I, I'll just hang them up over a piece of artwork that I have in my house year round, just to kind of give it a little festive touch so that one is cute for the right person then moving more into say like springtime gift I would I recommend this bee skep that I made so what's fun about this is that 
you just need a bowl from your from a KitchenAid mixer, which a lot of us have KitchenAid mixers. So that's all this is. And you take rope that, you know, get some at Home Depot and wrap it around and hot glue it as you go. And you just spiral it up and you make a cute little bee sketch. So super easy and really unique. Okay, moving on into a summer type gift idea. I made these little driftwood sailboats from my parents' beach house. So we went to the beach house and I collected little, I collected four pieces of driftwood. So very sentimental. If you can pull that off, that's extra sweet. And then the handkerchiefs which a lot of people inherit them and then they just sit in a drawer. They don't even know where they are. They don't know what to do with them. I try to find ways to use things and I, I did cut grandma's handkerchiefs, but no one got mad at me. They thought they were very cute. So we, we gave these out as gifts one time and people really liked how sentimental they were. Okay, moving into the home decorating genre of gift ideas. So I made this sign, it's pretty simple to make. It's a verse in Joshua and it says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's a very popular verse. The verse is Joshua 24, 15. And you can, if you have some scrap wood and an ability to go to Kinko's or Office Max, you can print off the sign and glue it on wood and it's a really pretty sign for a family. I really love the simplicity of this sign. It's one that we have had on shelf, we've had by our door, we've had on our piano. It's, an, it's a good solid gift for a family. Okay, number eight, you can make a customized doormat. You can make it say anything you want. You can be funny, you can be charming, you can be do a monogram, you could do a picture a simple silhouette picture. I have made three of them for our house. I made this one, um, fancy meeting you here, I made that one. And then I made one with leafy, uh, like a leafy garland around it. And then one that looked like a gingerbread house. So it's a really simple process. I've done it for a woman's retreat before and it was a big hit. And you can buy these, um, they're coconut husk doormats and you can get them at Target, but what I really like is to get them at Ikea because they're like $7, $10, the big ones are 10, but that's a cute idea to do for people as well. Okay, number nine, I made a bistro apron out of a man's dress shirt that I got free at a garage sale. So that has been a really popular tutorial um, just a cute little half apron with a pocket and ties on it. So um, it doesn't have to be sentimental, but if you wanted to maybe remember a man in your life by using his shirt, cutting up his shirt, if he doesn't care, but somehow like making him limb live on, like maybe he's deployed or something, that would be really sentimental. A lot of things are, these things can be very sentimental if that works with your story. So the last one is my vintage wall hanging tutorial. So I've made several of them for the blog in the past. I love to check out the Cavallini selection. Cavallini is a kind of high end wrapping paper, stationery, they have calendars, that type of company and just they just find the most awesome images. So the wrapping paper is $10 for a sheet of it and I never want to use it for wrapping paper. I think it looks like an awesome vintage poster. So that's what I use them for. I use them for art. So you could make a wall hanging with that. The other thing, I'm going to give you a link for free maps. Might be kind of fun if you have like a like specific city that you wanted to make all cute for the, that particular person. So I will give you a link for that. And then a just bonus, I know I said 10, but this is the PS. I'm gonna give you two more ideas that I will regularly use as quick gift ideas that are around $10. So I love Mrs. Myers. Yes, Mrs. Myers hand soap is like $7 for a little 
pump and they have the season the seasonal smells are so good so i think there's peppermint and evergreen i saw a bunch of new ones this year even i don't know if there was gingerbread anyway i'll link them for you but that's always a fun thing to hand as a gift to a girlfriend or hostess gift and then you have to hurry for this one i usually miss out but trader joe's has in the past they've always had ten dollars ten dollar boxwood um wreaths and so people will go and just buy like 10 of them at a time and maybe add a ribbon or not and hand those out and boxwood is really good because it will last several months and then sometimes you can just let it air dry and it will last i've had them last like a year so that's a, a nice quick easy idea that people will really appreciate so as you can tell, maybe my love language is gift giving. I'm always listening to people, trying to hear what it is that, that they are desiring. And then I'll like take notes on that. And, and then a year later, give, you know, at their birthday, like surprise them with something that I heard them mention in passing. People tell you what they want if you listen. So that's who I am. It comes out of me every day. And if you are familiar with what a love language is. That's from Gary Chapman's book. And now it was written for couples. I think it's helpful with anyone. So friends and kids trying to understand what it is that speaks to them the most. So if you're brave enough, you can leave in the comments below um, what your love language is. And that'll be fun to see which ones pop up. There'll probably be a lot of gift givers in this group actually. All right, so that's it for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care. I'll talk to you soon.